Hey guys, welcome back to Rising World. Uh, we have got things going again. Not sure what happened last time with the clipping, but um, we're working all right now. So I have got the mezzanine sort of area here with the steps down to where the kitchen used to be and the steps up to the front door. And we're still working on clearing out rock on the other side here. Unfortunately, no water in the game yet, but we still will wait in anticipation for that. And for now, we'll just keep playing with what we've got. So anyway, guys, I need to collect more rock. Need to get this floor laid in here. And um, we need to start preparing a new kitchen area. And we need to fill in the rock for the, um, the smoker hut upstairs. So plenty to do. And we're going to need a lot of rock to do it. So anyway, guys. I will be back when there's something more exciting to show you. Okay, so there is the kitchen sort of area floor already, and uh, we're broken through to the tunnel here on this side, so we'll need to lift this up at some point. But because we don't really need the kitchen at the moment, we need the smoker outside that's important. So I will go up and we'll build the walls for the smoking area. Okay guys, so the start of the outside area here is starting to come together. I think it's going to look pretty cool. I'm going to have to sort of move this around and change things a bit out here. The natural sort of landscape. Sort of have to try and blend it in a little bit. But um, little smokehouse outdoor area. And then this sort of barbecue area out here is going to, it's going to look pretty cool. I think it's going to come together pretty well. And the garden is looking awesome. We have got the tomatoes all up there now, looking awesome. Nice food sauce readily available. So all in all, things are looking pretty good at the moment. Pretty happy with the way things are going. Um, I need to get some more rock. So I'll just clear this area out here and sort of see what it looks like. And then I have to go down and sort of mine out the rock as well. Never ending task. But then once again like I initially said and I decided to build into the cave is um, that I do prefer to, to, to be able to mine rock rather than to cut down trees. I just find that really boring. Doesn't interest me at all. So So guys, another little find here. I've just calmed down. We are on the far side where we punch through the wall. Now I thought just for no reason at all, I'll just start digging towards back towards the main cave system. I don't know what I've hit. And I just started literally the first swing and we're into some copper already. So that's always exciting. You never know what you're gonna find when you just start digging away. And this is a sort of decent hole straight, straight off the bat. Very cool find. Right guys, so I, I thought I would start another project. I want to build a bedroom. Um, we're up here on top, we're looking down onto the workshop and that's that going down to where we've cut out through the wall. And I thought I'd dig this area here out and um, build a bedroom up here. Thought it would be quite a nice spot away from everything. So just gonna dig out the rock. Um, and we will lay the floor up here. Right guys, thought before I just uh, start building the bedroom I would just tidy things up out here. Just to uh, sort of not finish things, but just to make things a bit better and just to fill in the hole before I pull down the gap and get injured unnecessarily. Right, that's gonna be much nicer. I need to put some sort of steps or something in there I think. But for now that will do. 
Okay, so there's a sort of a window open area, just because it's just to keep the weather out of it. Doesn't really need to be so secure. So there we go, the smokehouse is complete. We can get onto that um the bedroom floor. Okay guys, so the bedroom floor is complete and uh, part of the walls are even up. So this is going to be the sort of little out view over the mezzanine workshop sort of area. And then we're going to have to make some sort of stairs that go down and link up to the rest of the house. But first things first, a bedroom needs a bed. So I need to go down to the crafting station and see what's involved to craft a bed. Okay, so looking at beds, we have this particular style. So this one. And just a metal bed. Metal bed doesn't look that exciting really. Um, I guess it have to be one of these wooden beds. I think probably this one looks the most appealing to me. And we need cloth. So that's something we don't have, so we're going to have to um, open up our work station area, make some more room, and we're going to need to build a new crafting station to weave cloth, loom. So we need to make a loom. So I'll make a bit of room down here and grab the materials we need which I've already got I've just got to grab them out of the box and then we can um, we can craft some cloth okay so got the got the lumber and the iron rod craft the loom move it up here got the area that I cleared out to put the loom so place that and let's have a look and see what we need cloth we need wool we can make a tent so we need to go out and find some sheep I guess and get their wool Okay, so I need to go get some wool, so I need to go off and do a bit of a hunt, see what else we can find, maybe we can get some meat off the way. Just been clearing this little trail. And I found some uh, broccoli, so nice score. Okay, so see if we can find any sheep out here. Just gotta make sure I don't get turned around and get too lost. So that's a pig. And another pig. Gather some stuff. More stuff we can take home and pl place in our garden at home. Another big cave. With trees growing in the air over it. Some more resources down here. Another part of the cave system here. All things we're going to have to come back and explore at some point. Just got to be careful we don't fall down any holes. A 
Is that okay? No, just a big drop off. So there's a lot of caves around here. We've got a lot of areas that we can come exploring. See what goods we can find. Is that a goat? to go, not exactly what we're looking for. Another big cave system. I don't want to keep going this way because I don't want to get lost. So stick back on the main sort of valley. If I start going over ridge lines I'll never find the one to come back home. So I think I've got enough tomato saplings for now. But I might as well grab the tomatoes. Another pig. Lots of pigs around. But there's no sheep. Oh, I've turned around and I have walked back home. I thought I was going a completely different way. I should really be using my compass. Okay, what can we see from up here? Not a lot, just trees and holes. And a cow. Whoa, that was really close. Good resources down in there. Right, guys, well, I'll keep exploring. Um, hopefully, I stumble across the cows, uh, not a cow, against the sheep. I stumble across the sheep soon. So, guys, I'll um, let you know when I find something of interest. There we go, guys, I found a sheep. Let's get it. Oh! Cool! I don't have to kill him. Come back, Mr. Sheep. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, let's get this one. There we go. Injured and he's running away. Let's just finish the job. Yeah. Okay, so I have some wool. I don't know if it's going to be enough. We've got heaps of other crops that we've collected along the way. So I think it's time to return home while we're still safe. 
and um, unload the goods. Okay, guys, so we're back home. We've got some wool and a lot of other stuff. Um, hey, guys, gonna wrap the episode up here. We're back home. We've got our wool. Um, did a few few new things in this episode, so uh, I hope you enjoyed having a look around and exploring and what, what other things this game offers. And we'll be back ne next episode to make the wall and get the bed um, finished. Or we'll started, really. So anyway guys, you know what to do. If you want to keep watching the series, make sure you subscribe. Uh, Wes's channel in the description below. And uh, until next time guys.